I start class, please ask me to you know, record. Uh, nothing wrong because uh, many times in uh, Biju, this one immediately after the meeting, last class, I took a cl your class and I forgot to record. So that recording is required. Even we can put that in the uh, no, YouTube channel so that people who have difficulty or want to revise something can listen to my lectures. Yes, uh, one by one, I'll just discuss for five minutes just for no interaction. Uh, Rohit said no uh, difficulty, no questions. Roshan. <clears throat> uh, please feel free. This is a discussion class. Okay, remedial. Uh, we student and the faculty should interact and understand your problem so that I can improve upon my you no know, teaching learning process. Okay, so that is how this uh, class is. Actual syllabus I am not going to touch upon because strength is also less. And uh, no, next week when I plan, uh, next time I will take full class. Okay, the, the complete uh, concept based uh, discussion will be there. Today, 10 minutes I want to discuss with you. Yes, Roshan, yes. you have to tell me your version. Is it going fine or uh, you want uh, you want to say something? It's fine. Am I sir. going fast, slow? No, sir, it's fine. Fine, are you following? Yes, sir. So which book uh, you started referring or material started referring? Sir, the, prescribed started book huh? the prescribed book only, sir. Which the e book was prescribed book? Uh, so one minute. Ah, no, you should remember, Roshan. Yes, Kanchandani. Yes, sir. Uh, e -book of uh, Kanchandani. That is a prescribed book, but you can refer M.H. Rashid, Muhammad Rashid, a famous book and prescribed in almost all universities in India. Okay, you take it, uh, no, even NIT, IITs. Uh, Vellore Institute, all that universities, uh, almost all universities, they uh, prescribe this MH Rashid, Power Electronics by MH Rashid. Are you getting? Yes, yes, so sir. that is also a very good book for river level because Kanchandani, as per the syllabus, some points are mentioned. 2.1 means 2.1, you have to stick. 2.2, 2.3. He will mention specifically you go to that point and uh, just read and prepare for the exam. If you want yes, to sir. take Xerox of the prescribed part in the textbook, just take a Xerox and start reading. The book doesn't matter. Out of three books, any one book you can refer. One is Kanchandani. Second one is MH Rashid. Third one is P.S. Bimra. P.S. Bimra is the uh, a detailed discussion he does and a lot of mathematical and waveform analysis he does. So, so P.S. Bimbra has the book. It's you have a book? Yes, sir. Ah, P.S. Bimbra. Those who want to uh, have P.S. Bimbra soft copy, I will send you. Okay. Uh, I could download a soft copy. If you can try, you please try. So, but it's 2014 edition. Is it a problem? Uh, no, no, no problem at all. So you yes, just sir. see the concept on that concept. You go to that particular topic. OK, and yes, uh, just uh, make a notes uh, that see one more thing I forgot to tell in the first class that everyone has to maintain one notebook. Yes, Madhuri Kautekar. Madhuri. Yes, sir. Yes, which book you are referring, Ma? Uh, I have to take, sir. Ah, you have to start reading. Huh? This is uh, uh, not that easy subject, theory subject. It is full of circuitries and waveforms and mathematical analysis. Okay, so start preparing uh, from my PPTs that I have shared in the GCR, Google Classroom. And uh, parallelly, you start searching, uh, no ebooks. Uh, th there are uh, no uh, textbook available online. Please download and keep with you. Only tick the points which are there in the syllabus and stick to that. Go on reading. 
So I want everyone to prepare a notes and maintain a notebook. So once college reopens, I will be checking and based on that, I'll assign some marks. Okay. So if you have maintained uh, uh, this notes, that is very important. Okay. So because without writing, without practicing circuits, you will not be able to reproduce in the exam. That's why I insist you to you know, maintain notes. I will be discussing PPT because it is online class. Offline class, I can uh, you know, give you so many materials, hard copies, uh, books and all. I can tell, I can ask you to, to take Xerox. But since this is a digital mode, soft copy, PS Bimra, I will forward it to you, you all. Okay. You check once your syllabus and then read. Don't read everything. Okay. Because these are the standard books and uh, you don't have to worry about the entire content in the textbook. Are you getting? <coughs> Monica. Kirtana. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. Started studying. Sir. Ah, ne next class onwards, you should be interactive. All should be interactive. Okay. Yes, you should be able to question me. Uh, get maximum from the faculty. Extract maximum from the faculty. Until and unless you question, you people question, uh, you will not be benefited. I tell you. Okay. We do our job. Uh, we go on teaching. And uh, we. if you don't ask question, we think that you have followed everything and uh, you are studying uh, in the home. Okay. That should not be the case. I want to check in between. I may ask you to show me notes. You should be able to share your uh, notes. Particular concept, yes. Yes, here characteristics you show, share me. You should be able to share. Phase control rectifier, one circuit you share me. Immediately you should be able to share and show me. Okay. So that is how we should be committed uh, uh, to learn the things from both end, both teacher as well as students. Okay, so no ambiguity in this and uh, my um, observation will be there throughout the semester on all this assignment, model tests, whatever test I will be giving, small daily basis, class test, everything will be counted. Okay, so I have done this in the last year also for all uh, batches and uh, this is very important. Learning process should be there okay you cannot say sir has not asked so you can stop reading the text or uh, stop learning the things okay so any doubt in the last two class please feel free navasri navasri yes sir yes, ah, sir. any doubt till now no sir no. no. Then what is latching current? So it is the minimum current we observe in the device as soon as we turn on. Very good. Hmm. So I think I asked a question. One more question you did not raise, but in between I said about it, but not detailed discussion we had, but uh, no. I asked uh, that definition in the uh, class assignment, correct? So what is that yes, holding sir. current I gave you? What is the holding current? Mm -hmm. So it is Naimed, the yeah. value of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Namvesri, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No issue. Yes, sir. Namvesri, let her... Let Namvesri finish, ma. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, no. yes, sir. Latch. So it is no. the value, so ah, holding yes, yes. current. It is yes. the value of the current below which HCR, HCR switches from conduction state to forward blocking regions. Reading from the material? <laughs> yes, sir. No, you are 
Oh, at least uh, you are telling true truth, right? Mm, good. I appreciate yes. that. Yeah, it is a minimum current below which device goes off. Simple. Okay. Keep it simple. Are you getting? All of you, are you listening? Say yes, yes, all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Huh. So for me, response is important. Response is a motivation for me to talk huh? after lunch. Okay, good. So, Kirtana will tell what is breaker voltage. So, can you repeat? Please? What is break or voltage? Uh, the voltage at which the SCR conducts evenly without gate voltage. Very good. The break uh, even with uh, gate voltage or without gate voltage. The voltage at which SCR turns on is a break or voltage, ma'am. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ha. Huh. Uh, without the gate up, uh, voltage, you can turn on, but as soon as device turns on, that voltage you are noting down and saying that this is a voltage at which my SCR turns on. That exactly. voltage itself is called break over voltage. But why the name break over voltage shall we sing? Why you call, how, how people are able to name break over voltage? What might be the reason? Because the junction is breaking once the SCR. Very good. Because that voltage, at that voltage, your junction J2, which was reverse biased earlier, is breaking down at that voltage. That's why you call that voltage as break or voltage. Very good. People are interacting. Maybe you are uh, no, referring some material telling, but I'm happy that you are telling. Okay, so next class without any reference, you should be able to respond. Answer, but yes, Nikita. Yes, sir. What is the difference between latching current and holding current? By this so, uh, discussion, latching yeah, you current should be able to. Huh. The minimum uh, uh, current required to maintain the SCR when the diode is on, in, uh, when uh, immediately over switching off uh -huh. from the state, and the holding current is the smallest amount of current under which the diode current has to drop in off state. Ah. Okay, that is definition. Next point, difference point. I, I want I want you to differentiate with respect to two to three points. One point is definition. You can define both the terms and say this is a latching current, this is a holding current. Okay, good. That's good. Second point is latching current. You come across latching current only when device is turning on. Turn on process, you will come across latching current. Holding current, you come across when device is in turn off process. During turn off process only yes, to come across the current called holding current. Hope yes, you remember the curve. What I discussed. I, I, uh, yes, sorry. I'll, I'll try to show that so that it will be clear for others. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is it visible, Ma Nikita? So, one second, sir. Uh, yes, my, my slide. Yes, sir, it is visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. Uh, uh, what is the title? SCR VA characteristics. Okay, good. So you can see the characteristics graph here. In the beginning, yes, your SCR was not conducting. It was in forward blocking state. That's why current magnitude is very small. Forward leakage current, what is indicated here with the arrow mark, shows that leakage current of the magnitude microamperes very small current if you practically measure it with a multimeter or emitter the current will be in microamperes micro is 10 to the power minus 6 that is very small value negligible value okay so uh, means your device is not conducting so up to what value it is not conducting up to vbo v suffix bo 
BO is brake or voltage. VBO is brake or voltage. So up to VBO, your device was in forward blocking state. Once your device turns on at VBO, what happens to the voltage across SCR? I want answers. Sir, can you repeat the question? Okay. Yes, see, I said, as soon as device turns on at breaker voltage, are you able to see the curve? There is a sudden change in the current curve. It is falling from VBO point to very close to, no, IL is marked, no? IL is a latching current here. The moment device turns on and the current that you observe in the device, maybe with a multimeter or ammeter, you, you are reading the current. That current is called latching current. We discussed, you know it very well. But current suddenly, it starts increasing vertically. I have shown one more line, right? Yes. Yes, but sir. What is that is happening to voltage? X-axis, you have voltage VAK, no? What yes, happens sir. to voltage? Voltage is falling from VBO, breaker voltage, maybe that is 10 volts. From that 10 volts, it is falling to 0.7 or 0.8. Practically speaking, it falls to very small value. What I'm trying to tell is, as soon as your device starts conducting, what is the change that you are observing? One, no doubt, you are observing a current flow in the device. Very correct. And that current you told, it is latching current. The moment you observe after turn on. Correct. But what happens to the voltage across SCR? Yes, yeah. Voltage drop across SCR. Yeah. Why that drop is happening? Voltage suddenly is dropping from 10 volts to 0.7 or 0.8 because junction J2 has broken down. And earlier device was acting as a open switch. When it was forward blocking mode, when it was in forward blocking mode, the device was not conducting means what? Device is not conducting means what? It is an open circuit or closed circuit? Open circuit. Yes. Open circuit. Open Very circuit. good. Very good. There is no current flowing through the device. There is an open circuit created. When it is open, when switch is open, whatever voltage VAK on the x-axis, x -axis, what I have shown here, that 10 volts was appearing across that open switch because it was not conducting. Once it starts conducting, the voltage drops and current that is converted into current. Current starts flowing in the device. That is why this curve, curve meaning you have to understand that is very important. Okay. This point, VBO point, we call it as a turn on point of SCR or it is also called a triggering point. Okay. This is a point at which it has triggered. SCR has triggered. It has turned on. Very simple. Okay, now can you see the difference between latching current and holding current here? Sanjana. Yes, sir. Are you able to see which is greater now? Latching current is greater or holding current is greater? Latching current, sir. Very good. So, latching current point is you know, marked here horizontally IL. Okay, and uh, after that, current suddenly it increases vertical line. You can see forward voltage drop, conducting mode, all that is marked there, labeled there. So, what is the meaning of that? Current is increasing heavily, even with a small change in VAK. Why is it so? Nishkala. Yes, sir. Shalvi Singh, Nishkala, you have to answer me why the current is increasing after latching current. It starts increasing continuously. Even small 0.1 volts, 0.1 volt, 
difference you are making in the voltage VAK? So not able to screen. You are not able to see the screen. Nishkala. Uh, now I can say one second. You can? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what I'm trying to tell is just we are trying to understand each and every point in the graph. That's it. That is my idea. So IL is the latching current. After that, you can see vertical current uh, rise, vertical line we have shown. So that variation in the current, why it is happening so? Because small change in the voltage is leading to big uh, change in the current. Because your J2 is broken down it's and really even small, small already device is in on state. Your device is in on state. When it is already in on state, even small voltage variation at the input gives rise to large current variation in the device. Hope you people are following me. Yes, sir. Yes, good. Yes, Shubham Chakravarti. Are you able to hear me, Shubham? Kya ho raha hai? Not able to follow, not able to listen. Internet problem, sir. Shubham? Hello? Tanushri? Yes, sir. Ah. You understood the vertical curve current rise? Yes, sir. Forward conduction mode of operation or mo mode of uh, forward conducting region of operation we call. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, once you see the conduction, vertical line, this current rise. Now you have seen the turn on process. Simple. Turning on and off is switching action of a SCR. You are checking. Correct now? Now, your job is to turn off the device. So how to turn off the device? Decrease the voltage across device. Simple. VAK, you are reducing. Go on reducing VAK. Your voltage goes on decreasing across the device. And your volt current, this vertical line, current line, what I have shown here, it starts decreasing. The current starts decreasing. Okay, current starts decreasing. Go on decreasing further the voltage current till it will uh, continue. It will continue decreasing. It will come up to latching current. Current decreases and comes to IL. Your voltage may be from 10 volts. You have come to 1 volt and you are, you are able to see latching current as maybe. Yes, latching current already if you have measured. Please remember this point very carefully. Latching current, if noted, is 10 milliamps. In the beginning, when it turns on, when device turns on, now it comes to 10 milliamps, back to latching current. Current in the device comes to latching current. After that, please try to reduce the voltage across SCR further. So further, if you try to reduce voltage, current, again, it falls below latching current. So instead of 10 milliamps, it may be 9 milliamps. Then further, you decrease the voltage, further current decreases, maybe 8 milliamps, maybe 7 milliamps, maybe 6 milliamps, maybe 5 milliamps. You are able to see this variation in the current. Because you are reducing the voltage across the device. But at one point, your current, that may be the point of 5 milliamps of current, below which you will not be able to notice the change in the current. Notice the change in the current. What is that? From 5 milliamps, it may fall to 0 directly. So. You will not be able to notice 4 milliamps, 3 milliamps, 2 milliamps, and 1 milliamp. Directly from 5 milliamps, it is falling to 0. And 
if that 5 milliamps is the minimum current what you could observe in the device that current is called holding current that holding current that's how we define holding current is a minimum current below which your scr goes off very clear from my end so what i'm trying to tell is latching current is always greater than holding current second latching current comes into picture when you are turning on the device holding current comes into picture when you are turning off the device hope it is clear yes sir very good shall we sing now please repeat what i explained in just to summarize shall we shall we sing vandana yes sir i'll explain yes will you try good yes sir i'll try uh, when uh, when the scr is connected to a voltage there's a like the, when the uh, uh, like when the scr is connected like um, there will be no current flow initial cuz junction uh, j2 is reverse biased at mm -hmm. a certain point that tells vbu uh, this one the junction breaks and there is a current flow very good uh, uh, from then the voltage starts decreasing and then mm -hmm. uh, the current which flows uh, at that point the latching point is called the latching current yes and then when we start decreasing the voltage again at like after a certain point of time the current also start decreasing and mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the latching point after the when the scr turns off again See, the current vandana vandana when you observe the latching current as soon as you turn on the device after that you are seeing the conduction region conduction mode of operation see conduction you have to go on increasing vak further current will increase this vertical line what i have shown in the graph it is a current that is increasing even for small change in the voltage vak that process should be explained that is forward conduction mode okay okay sir ah then during turn off process you start a decreasing vak voltage you start decreasing and your current start decreasing correct decreasing. go ahead go yes, ahead sir. yes sir the current start decreasing uh, yes decreasing. so what are the cap 6 when gate voltage is applied sir yes i will come to that man after this okay. i am going to discuss that one okay okay sir. so okay. let us go to that point itself what vandana is asking this is a character see same curve only one you curve you can write but the 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 this is a final curve you can show in the exam or even in any test that you write vi characteristics this is a characteristics graph that can be expected or uh, one more graph i'll show you later but time being you stick to this so are you able to see the change in the characteristics vandana yes sir yes sir we can see this ah uh, are you able to notice a b c d f, e f, five points yes sir ha ah, yes all of you listen here carefully so i have applied vak and i have seen forward blocking mode up to a point up to a 0 to a current was negligible because your device was in forward blocking state it was not conducting up to a at a point what is happening at voltage va the gate current was zero you have not applied the gate current right gate voltage you have not applied that's why i is equal to zero is it shown here is it yes sir. correct yes, what i am trying to tell yes i have said without gate pulse gate voltage also you can turn on the device that previous case we discussed right now this is a point a point what you are getting it is without the gate voltage and gate current that's why i have mentioned it as ic is equal to zero ic is a gate current that is zero 
fine yes next what you are trying to do you apply the some gate current and next step you try the characteristics of this scr by applying small gate current what is that small gate current maybe 5 milliamps let me take one example 5 milliamps so at point b your device started conducting means what your forward blocking mode is from 0 to b that is at voltage vb so is vb is greater than va or vb is less than va on x axis vb is less than va sir very good so what you are trying to uh, draw the inference here that when you apply the gate voltage low gate voltage low iz what is written at point b says that as you apply the gate current maybe it is small gate current you have applied but the device is turning on at lower voltages vb vb is less than va so if device has taken 10 volts earlier that is va is 10 now vb may be 5 volts so what is advantage you are able to turn on the device at lower voltages that is a concept so you have better control over the device how with the help of gate current how you get the gate current you apply the so, gate voltage uh, yes so this process is faster than when there is no voltage applied yes yes it is faster yes you can turn on it faster yeah, that is an advantage and you are keeping the device at lower voltages. Okay, you are operating the device at lower voltages. Meaning is what? Device is safe. Device uh, will not dissipate more power because of heat produced in the device. Because you are keeping at low voltage. I am giving more explanation because in the initial classes, I thought of going little detail. I am giving this otherwise this question will be for six to eight marks you should be able to tell what is uh, SCR what is structure four layer structure three junction structure when the gate is open what is operation when you apply the gate pulse what is operation and then finally you write this characteristics graph that is a, a job you have to do in the exam that will fetch you six to eight marks okay so just to make sure that rest of the chapters wherever you find scr in the circuitry you should be able to analyze that circuitry well that's why i'm going in detail only in this characteristics graph i'm spending one hour right so you should be able to understand this fully don't leave it at any cost okay please question me if you are not followed Yes. Uh, why is, shall we sing is not speaking? Yes. Vandana done. Uh. So her mic is not working. It seems she's put a text on the chat list. Okay, I will not be able to see text. Uh, okay. 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 No problem. Later I will take a note of it. Uh, Naivadya. Yes, sir. Uh, are you able to follow? Yes, sir. Uh, what is that C is indicating in uh, the point C on the curve? Sir, it indicates that when we increase, like slightly increase the gate voltage, over here we need very little uh, the voltage needed to uh, switch on the circuit. Because without the SCR, yes. Because without the gate voltage, we needed a lot more uh, yes. lot of, uh, applied voltage across the whole device to switch very it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is a point yes sir. yeah so as soon as you, you you are able to turn on the device at lower voltages we see maybe it is two volts you are turning on the device but yes with sir. the help of higher gate current Correct? yes sir yes yes, yes. Sir. so so latching current you, as soon as device turns on the current that point you observe yes. is the latching current and yes, you can sir. see the conduction high conduction mm -hmm. uh, labeling is done with the green arrow what is shown this mm -hmm. red line vertical line is a conduction region of a scr 
okay sir sir what is holding current i don't understand that like yeah, the difference i, 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 I come uh -huh. now we are talking about turn on process right yes sir turn on process we have turned on at different points a b c and then d to e is a conduction period we are able to see so yes, your sir. device is in on state it is conducting fine you are mm -hmm. making use of this operation of the device and same concept you can apply into many applications i will go i am going to tell uh, in later classes okay, okay. At that mm -hmm. point i will uh, give a full stop now once your operation is done if you have observed the operation of the device next your job is what turn off the device yes sir correct now when you mm -hmm. use the fan when you are in home you want to close the door and go out what you will do you will switch off the fan and hmm. like it is same you are turning off the device when you are job is done correct yes sir yes that's what you are doing so to turn off what you will do first thing you start decreasing vak v a k that that is the voltage across cathode and anode yes very correct that okay, is the sir. voltage across anode and cathode hmm Huh. And where gate is gate voltage is applied, ma'am? Which layer? Uh, it's applied on this J two, sir. J two or three? It's in my notes, in, sir. Can I open it from there? Between J two and J three. If you want to mention yes. junctions, mm -hmm. I want to say junctions with respect to junctions. Then mm -hmm. it is between J two and J three. Hmm. Correct. If you mm -hmm. want to mention, it is a device layer. It has four layer, right? Yes, sir. P three, P two, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can name it. Uh, mention name it as P one, N one, P two, N two. Not an issue. Okay. It depends on the P2. textbook what you refer. Okay. Okay. But uh, our understanding is important. Yes. So P N P N. So between J two and J three, you have second P layer. There you are applying the gate. Voltage, correct? Yes, sir. Very good. So now you are decreasing VAK. Hope all are with me. Mm -hmm. Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very yes, good. Sir. Very good. Very good. So now you are decreasing VAK. Your starts. Uh, your current starts decreasing from E to D. It start falling. Okay, sir. It traces the same path backwards, sir. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. Okay, you have mm -hmm. gone from D to E. Now your current is decreasing with the same uh, this one because uh, again it depends on the how you vary the VAK. Okay, mm -hmm. VAK maybe no ten uh, volts in the beginning at E or sorry maybe uh, one volt at E point point mm -hmm. nine you bring your current comes down point eight you come your current drops. And at D, maybe you can say latching current maybe ten milliamps. That is at maybe point seven volts of VAK. Suppose example, point seven volts is a voltage at which you have reached the point D. Your hmm. current has increased to point D. Simple. Now, now till your device is in on state, correct? All of you agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your current has not fallen below below latching current, so device is in on state only. So further, you try to decrease VAK from 0.7 to 0.6. Your current yeah. may decrease from D. If D point current is 10 milliamps, maybe it decreases to 0.8 milliamps. Okay, sir. Sorry, 8 milliamps. Okay. Now further, you tries to decrease VAK. It may fall to six milliamps, mm -hmm. and from six milliamps, you uh, I'll just show the different curve just to differentiate between holding and latching. This is how current falls from latching to holding. It okay. it is decreasing further. Correct. Mm -hmm. But uh, where I have marked holding current, please. Please uh, see that point. Observe that point. After that point, there is no continuity in the current flow. The the current is disconnected. 
it has stopped there from there it directly falls to zero that's why that line is not shown it is broken are you able to see yes sir ah that that is what you will not be able to see the or observe anything any variation in the current so pulled current is the minimum current below which you will not be able to observe the variation in the current directly it falls to zero minimum current below which device goes off device thank you sir ha uh, so always latching current is greater than holding current hmm. at relation you should know some people will ask for one marks if they ask like this okay latching current is greater than holding current holding current that is a minimum current required below which your device will be in off state that's it mm -hmm. any fall even 1 milliamps fall below the holding it goes directly to zero it will not no uh, very like no 5 milliamps 4 milliamps 3 milliamps you will not be able to see that variation directly 5 milliamps if you observe directly you observe 0 milliamps only in between variation you will not be able to see that point we call it as a holding point and the current we call it as a holding current got it sir got um, yeah tell me anything and so for break over voltage the definition i wrote for yesterday's test is i'll read it out sir if you could tell me if it's correct or wrong okay please go ahead i wrote um, breaking break over voltage no sir naivedya naivedya okay please ha uh, it is a positive anode voltage applied after which current starts to flow with the hmm. gate circuit uh, being at zero voltage is that one, correct one, one second naivedya ha hele pa enu hello One, one, one second, one second. Yes, sir, no problem. One second. Hello. Signature. Class ready, Becker. I'm going to go. right yes i'm sorry yeah no problem yes so what i wrote the definition is it is the yeah, positive uh, anode tell my version you just compare uh, because yes, sir, yes, sir. We'll stop here uh, mm -hmm. because only 26 people 24 yeah okay mm -hmm. uh, again if you want i will uh, discuss on that tomorrow yes, again our class right so yes, yeah in class i don't want to you know uh, drag mm -hmm. it no problem yeah this vbo clear definition i would like to give vbo is a breaker voltage that is what the uh, what you understand but it is a voltage at which your ser turns on keep it simple definition like this let the bookish definition may be anything but what you understand from that book definition and how you write your own uh, definition that counts that matters for me that is what i observe in your answers i don't want bookish definition i want understand what you have understanding in the subject okay so that is important for me it is a minimum voltage at which device turns on mm, okay yes, sir. Mm. what exactly happens at vbo at vbo j2 junction breaks down breaks and down. heavy current conduction takes place in the device okay uh, so your uh, gate a uh, gate yeah. voltage can either be zero or it can be applied yes in yes yes okay yes yes if you apply zero current with the zero voltage hmm. uh, device will take more voltage to turn on got it sir simple mm -hmm. okay see for your information all the students please listen uh, i have conducted experiment you have this experiment in the laboratory A device will take hundreds of volts to turn on. Yes, sir. Okay. If you don't apply gate current, 
your device takes hundreds of volts 100 maybe sometimes 120 volts maybe 150 volts sometime to turn on just to turn on so that is not advisable as you are operating your scr simple diode device at 100 volts it's a big heavy voltage 100 volts device gets heated and it start uh, dissipating uh, power to the you know, environment so your power consumption will be more so that will reduce your device efficiency in reality in most of the circuit power your microwave woven upc you have a scr based tracks there track device so it will get more heated means even if you touch your microwave one you, you will feel like you know you got a shock but it will not because it is insulated you will not get shock but internally circuit will get more heated so it is advisable to operate device at lower voltages so that's where the application of gate voltage and gate current comes into picture correct naivedya are you following yes sir got it uh, i was writing namaste monika madhuri nikita ninada nishkala yes Rohit, sir Roshan, all are there yes, very good yes sir uh, so but yes. one request sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, can you uh, post all these ppts in google classroom sir so that we can go through like yesterday uh, i have i think i have posted no ma oh yes sir i will uh, yesterday i have posted Okay, so, Nishkala, so. I have posted. Please check and reply me, huh? If I have not. Hello. Uh, no, sir. Uh, sir, it's no, not sir, there. You sir, you have posted, sir. Are, uh, only assignments okay. are there. Just give me one minute, I'll check. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. I opened, I play, uh, uploaded, and then what happened? Mm, class work. Naivedya, uh, Nishkala. Yes, yes sir. Uh, class work, have you seen class work? Class work? Huh? Huh, stream. Oh, yes, class sir. Work. Only class test and one quiz is there. No, in the stream, stream. If you see, you will yes, see this. Yes, electronic stream only. Ha, huh, class, class, class work. You go. Yes, I went, sir. Ha, huh, there PPT for P and I class. I have no, post post. No, sir, it's not there. Only class test and one quiz is there. That's all. Oh, P module one PPT. I'm able to see. I'm able to open. Yeah, oh guys other others can you just check once yes others please yeah, check other. no sir it's not no, there it's not no, sir, no, sir. No, sir, it's oh, not. whether i have assigned it or not no, okay sir. it is but the file is there i will check it again after this class and okay sir. okay okay, again. Sir. okay i'm able to see the file posted file okay okay sir i have opened also okay Okay, I'll do that. Don't worry. Hmm? Okay, sir. Uh, so we'll meet tomorrow. Okay, uh, sir. So please feel free to discuss. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, yeah, remedial class. Uh, it should be like now discussion room, discussion forum where we discuss uh, uh, your uh, doubts, and uh, no, I'll try to clarify all your doubts and you were uh, no problems some problems numerical problems we'll try to solve here in a remedial class okay okay, okay then thank you thank bye you, sir. thank you sir. sir right bye thank you sir welcome